Hello, welcome for Garden Chronicles. This is the collection of all my begonias here. I just want to show to you all the pictures that I've recently have taken and I just compiled it here. As you can see, these are the quite hardy begonias that are growing here in the pot and using a mop wick system. Uh, currently, uh, I just want to put all their names and uh, compile them into a uh, a video file kind of thing a slideshow and i hope you enjoy it viewing at this collection uh, these are actually quite difficult in the beginning but as the over time few months has taken place and they have actually uh, fully have grown and established themselves and stabilized themselves and these are the types that uh, just want to showcase here black knight and fireworks and aquamarine uh, you will be able to see that, that i've placed all their names on the pictures actually uh, they they have been quite quite easy now and some of them have gone dormant and slowly picking back uh, and uh, some of them has overgrown the pot but they managed to fill it up these are the ones that are actually growing outside the mob wake pot uh, this particular one is quite hardy u497 uh, the, it, quite quite a good one i would really recommend to grow this uh, the other one is acetosa i've been actually having a tough time with this one it's uh, actually going very dormant now if you, this is actually an old picture you will see the latest one uh, where it's now just three three leaf currently uh, I've also managed to propagate it, and these are the new ones. Art hood seems to be very stable. Uh, this is grown in soil actually, uh, apart from the mop wig. I, I tried using propagating using the leaf, but it's not being very successful. Candy stripe, quite challenging too, but once they're stable, they're okay. Currently, I just have one or two leaf in this full pot. I'm thinking whether I repropagate it back again. This is one of the best one, Martin Mystery. It seems to be able to handle well, but still a slight stove grower. Not fast as I thought it would be. Uh, but they do tend to become a little bit redder when they're exposed to sun. But uh, if it's in full shade, it'll actually turned more to silver I just used that uh, plant together with uh, others actually this is my favorite plant more like a velvet begonia this is another one uh, still trying to figure it out not not hardy as I would consider it to be but it's okay speculator seems to be one of the hardiest one in fully have grown lavishly as you can see also this one 309 uh, depending on circumstance situation also pluton plutonis uh, this uh, this particular one is actually in one pot and i'm not disturbed it and i just left it as it is silver jewel is one of the easy ones i would say but also very tricky they can just disappear away and also this particular one bunchi uh, it's growing well so far and uh, i i would think it's it's still something that i will have to view and take keep an eye on that and this is all that is in the, a collection that is actually growing inside the pot anyway uh, all this is actually coming from here i brought it the pot down and taken the picture out of it and i clean up the water pot and uh, scrub off all the dirt and wash off the debris and fix back so this is a clearer picture of uh, of all the mop weak plants that is growing here so you can see that a collection of all the pictures that I've taken earlier and this is a, a, a combo effect picture here 
I can have a clearer view of this. This is a collection of all my uh, cane begonias that I actually placed them here. Uh, it is actually a trial and uh, trial and error kind of thing. Some actually has rotted and died and some have picked up. So I, I am trying my hands on this. But overall, they are okay actually. Uh, begonia, burning bush and uh, seems seems that they are actually the cane type which is, I find that it's quite... Uh, quite uh, hardy i would really recommend this recently i bought this one begonia aya also i'm trying trying it out it's appeared to be hardy too and uh, this this particular one has actually almost died and slowly picking up you can see the leaves are quite spent uh, and, and a few others here that you can see that uh, uh, in the collection where I actually growing all those uh, begonias that is more like a cane kind of thing uh, Borneos, Borneonis uh, yes always have this cute little flower and uh, wax begonia kind of thing dragon wing the, the, here are all the collection of the ones that uh, I have managed to collect where it actually has all these white spots on the leaves and uh, what I find that here is that some of it seems to do well and some don't and over time so it is quite uh, quite challenging so in a long term basis it's very difficult to say what actually lasts and what don't uh, however I can say that most of it is uh, albopicta and maculata and some of it of the hybrid versions and uh, it, it, I only will only know as as the journey go on. So as far as I can say, currently they are just doing fine and okay. Thank you so much for visiting my garden, and I hope to hear from you. If you have any questions or query, do click the comments and do check out and ask what uh, I would really like to hear from you. Apart from that, do click like and off. Of, and I will be very happy if you can click subscribe and enjoy my garden. Thank you for visiting and uh, I hope you have a wonderful, uh, wonderful day. Have a nice day. Thank you.